You won't be satisfied putting human love relationships first before a love relationship with God. Top of the morning to you. So in this age when everyone is looking for their own true love, why are they putting faith and trust in people first? People have proven to be fallible, imperfect, unreliable, out for themselves. Then they figure, I guess, let me get this right in my life first, and then I'll pursue a relationship with the Lord. Well, they got it backwards. Why not establish that love relationship with God first, and then add to that love for a person? Jesus tried to tell us that it's the order when he proclaimed in Matthew 22, verses 37 through 38, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. He clearly labeled these first and second. What was he implying? Could it be get the God relationship down first and then pursue your human relationship second? How much heartache could we avoid if we got this right? Think about it. If we experienced the gold standard of love, would we, would we fall for anything less? Would we be as easily deceived by manipulative words and actions if God was right there whispering in your ear? There may be some slip-ups but because we're imperfect, but our recovery time from these slip-ups would be lessened. Think about it. God is offering you and I a love that he, deser- that he described throughout Psalms as unrelenting, undying, unfailing, unlimited, unconditional, unwavering, passionate, eternal, compassionate, overflowing, deep, and transforming. Who on earth could compare? We are promised in 1 John 3.22, if we keep his commandments, in other words, putting God first, whatever we ask, we receive. God also gave us a helper in Romans 5.5. Holy Spirit pours out God's love in our heart. So we're not left to our own devices in this. So if you're tired of getting into relationships that are faulty or going nowhere or just unsatisfying, quit putting the cart before the horse. Put a relationship with your Father God first through Jesus. Ask Jesus into your heart and then ask Holy Spirit to fill you to overflowing with God's love. Or better yet, if you just if you've not fallen into love with with a human connection yet, do as the commandment tells us first, love God, then second, love people. You'll be glad you did. Have a great day.